Hello, church family. Just want to remind you, Pastor Paul is going to be preaching on Romans 12, 9 to 21 this week. We'd like you as a family, individuals, to take the time to read the scripture ahead of time, to prepare your hearts, to, to just allow the Holy Spirit to take the word of God and transform your mind. I wanted to read just a few of those verses. Uh, verses 9 through 12 says, says this, let love be genuine. Abhor what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with a brotherly affection. Listen to this. Outdo one another in showing honor. Now that sounds like a competition, right? Do not be slothful or lazy in zeal, but be fervent in hope and be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Those are wonderful things for us to focus on in this coming week as it leads up to our sermon on Sunday. But I just want to, I want to point to be patient in tribulation. You know, these are marks of a Christian. These are things that we should be showing others, and we want to encourage you to be doing those things. As you, as you move up to the Sunday morning worship service, I want to remind you of something that we create for you. It's called the Cube, Connect, Understand, Build, and Express. The purpose of this is to work with your children, your families. I have adults that are taking this, and they're loving it. And it's one way that you can connect the Word of God and help your kids and help understand what the sermon is all about. It's an activity page, but it's not something just for Sunday morning. You could take it and use it as part of your family devotions the rest of the week. So we want to encourage you get that in church on Sunday, or you get it online through our family ministry email or our Facebook pages. I want to remind you of a couple of things that are coming up. One is we rescheduled the scavenger hunt for this past, past week. We got rained out, and so we rescheduled it for Wednesday, August 5th. At six o'clock, we're going to be at the church, and this is a fun event. We'll give you twelve different items to go off into the community and find certain things, take pictures of your family. We'll have some prizes and eat some ice cream. It'll be a wonderful time together. There's also going to be a men's fraternity work day. They're going to actually uh, partner with Camp Jabez. It's going to be on August eighth uh, from nine to two. And the men will go down to Camp Jabez and work down there and help them. Um, they need some, some physical work to be taking place down there. And so you can sign up online as well for that. We're having a PPC blood drive. This is an extra blood drive because the community blood center has made us aware of how low the blood levels are. And so they want us to donate. And so there's plenty of opportunity to do that. You can register for the, for the blood drive online on our website. And last but not least... We're having a family canoe trip. That's going to be taking place on Sunday, August 9th at 2 o'clock. But you got to sign up by August 3rd. Uh, it's $15 a person. Everybody will meet down at the Bellbrook Canoe Rental at 145 Again, it's $15 a person. I hope it's going to be a great time. I've never been on a family canoe trip before, but I hear that it's fairly simple. We'll go down the river and hopefully nobody will fall out but it should be a wonderful time together. And so we're excited about what God is doing. You know, as, as we lead up to Sunday morning, we need to be reminded that the word of God is what's going to transform our minds. We want you as a church to know that Jesus is worthy of our worship. I am reminded in our hymn of the month, okay, which is part of the cube, by the way, it says, here's, here's the hymn of the month how great thou art. What a great time to focus on how great God is. Even during a pandemic, even though we can go through difficult times, we can say, my soul sings, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Know that you're loved. Thanks.